So would you guys like to see a quick round of the other teams that I've got on here? Uh, I'm going to assume that you might be interested. Uh, my Wood Elves are still pretty new. Uh, went with a Frenzy, a Strip Ball, uh, a Blodge, Strength 4 Lineman, some, and some Dodge. Not too much to see there. Uh, these were the Darkies from the uh, last quick Think Fast thing. Uh, High Elves are, are doing quite alright. They've got an Agility 5 Catcher with Blodge. Uh, a Mighty Blow Blitzer, an uh, Agility 5 Lineman with Wrestle, a Strength 4 Blodge. It's quite alright. Um, we've got some pretty beat up Skaven that never really got off the ground. We've got some Chaos that rolled really well for the long term. Um, but in the short term, that's really rubbish because plus Strength 2 times is just. Uh, Nowhere near as good as, say, five real skills. Uh, the lizards are quite alright. Um, I think I think I'll just play one game of lizards. Uh, I do have a missing Saurus, which is a pity. But let's see if I can find them in opponents. And rename the stream. There we are. We are now called a lizard stream. So let's not draw super high value chaos. Hmm. 1620 elves, huh? Okay. Yeah, true enough. They're, uh. <coughs> they're, uh. Slogan is actually concessions are us, yes. Moranian's not bad, and him not getting a wizard is actually very nice for me. Moranian's got strength for block strip ball, I think. Moranian is not, so Hubris has dirty player and mighty blow, I think. I think Moranian's such strength for strip ball, maybe jump up or something? I don't know. Let's have a look. Ah, right, I upgraded the stadium. Nice. Brackle Dauntless. Oh, right, so that is actually uh, quite a good set for this game. This is Jubris who has Strip Ball then. Brackle is Wrestle and Tackle. Let's see, a dodge sidestep, a dodge, a rookie, dodge, dodge, armor, okay, a Moranian, so wrestle, tackle, dauntless, yes, dauntless with strength 4 is of course not as, not nearly as good, uh, another dauntless, another dodge, and an accurate, two reserves, four rerolls, Thanks for uh, for dropping back in, uh, Smiley Fakes, and thanks for the game also. So I've got my tackle, that's good. Also got my frenzy, which is nice. Diving tackle, two diving tackle at this point. This is the sidestepper, so that's not great. Yeah, no, uh, Dirty Player on Hubris is not something you will be using a lot of. That's definitely true. Yeah. 
I really shouldn't, but, uh, you know, <clears throat> it's always, always too tempting to do one last game. Diving tackle should be uh, should be useful this game. Let's get three mighty blow on the line because I'm gonna blitz with my frenzy here. Does he have any dodge here? Yes. He even has. So I've got a guard here, which means I can make this a three die. Uh, I think this will definitely be my last game. But I do thank you for the request. So there was a, a thing where the donators list would uh, uh, go ugly by streaming, by wrapping around, so I couldn't actually make it fit all the way down. So I, it's only the, uh, the top 12 at the moment. And it's also the top 12 of the last 30 days, not uh, <clears throat> in general. So I am down to only 11 players, and I am missing a Saurus, but this still looks uh, looks doable. Two, three, four, five, six, six. Yeah, this will do. Well, in that case, I just get another block on him. I can live with that. Mm, I'd rather put him next to the tackle than leave him here. Get a tackle zone onto the ball before doing other stuff. Uh, block here. Also go next to the tackler. Stay. Time to blitz. Oh, it's actually a catcher. That's even better. Aww, such a pity. Mm, let's take the both down. That way. <clears throat> I don't have to stand here or dodge from there. Uh, securing the ball before pickup. Yeah, I guess it can go here still. Three dice are good. I want to follow that to get connected here. Mm. Let's do the pickup now. How far are these guys? They're not catchers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I don't need to reroll this, I think. It's pretty safe. Bounce is also good. I can live with this for now. Yes, block is a skill that I have, and you do not. Very good. I 
I hope not. Sorry to hear it, uh, Biggers. I have been having some issues. Oh, that's uh, no. I have been having some issues with um, with the uploads. So my last uh, set of human games, I think, uh, just wouldn't upload at all. They um, they're still showing as recording, whatever that means. So good thing I've got tackle here. There is a crowd this time, yes. Here we go. Just look at them. We've even got orc drummers. Fantastic. So I can't get a surf in. This guy does not have dodge. I guess putting my diving tackler here already makes him much less of a threat. I want to be putting my prehensile tail on these guys. And if he boneheads, I want to know it now, not later. I really want to blitz a dodge guy with my mighty blow tackle. Even though he's got sidestep. I'm just not rolling a push. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, animosity is the thing, right? So, am I willing to bet on my pickup? I'm willing to bet on my pickup. So I've got guard here. I want this guy here. Yes, that seems good. I kind of want the ball to be there, so I'm going to move him away first. Yay! On a two, of course, the skin can come with that. Let's see if he's silly enough to stand up here. You never know. He was silly enough to put them there in the first place, after all. Let's get the Mighty Blow out and the Skinks in. That seems better. There we go. And... I kind of like it here at the moment. He's got Dauntless. Oh no. Oh dear. Why you no fear me? Look at him. Look at him. How can you not fear that? Look at those teeth, man. Look at those huge, gnarly, pointy, clipping teeth. How could you not be afraid of that badly lit mouth? <laughs> Yay, I used a reroll. I did a thing. Also, I can surf this still. Oh no, he's tackling me. I guess Moranian would be worth fouling. So in, in level 2 you can actually uh, Apo stars though, which sucks because by the rules you can't.
I'm tempted to just surf this catcher and accept that uh, I will have to dodge from tackle. prefer here. Let's not stay on the tackler, shall we? So I might as well not have used it. Hmm. Nice! Let's go here to make it a bit harder to surf him after I've done this. Ah, oh, again? Come on. Dude, get with the program. Uh, yes, speaking of which, you get with the program too. So I'm sort of running low on players here. Do I want to block Moranian? I do, kind of, yes. I'm willing to stand him up for that. That seems well enough. I will just follow this up. It means he gets a block on this guy, but I've got Blodge and it just means he has to deal with me as well. I'm going to go here and here. One of these is block. This guy is block. Let's see if we can get him down. Yay! Got him. So I'm not making any real progress yet, but at least I'm not suffering too much. I don't have any damage, I think. Nope. So basically the one thing that he really has over my team is bench. Which to be honest is not a lot to go on. Let's just mark Moran in here. He doesn't have jump up, does he? Nope. Let's just mark Moran in then. <laughs> yes, I hope so, uh, Buster Hemo. Oh, that's an interesting place to stand. So to be fair to my opponent, playing uh, 400k up is rarely easy. Well, that was the last of the vodka. Oh no, Moranian tackles me. I was kind of expecting that, but to be honest, every turn that Moranian decides to blitz other than a skink. Something must be going right. So I'm guessing this catcher is not too eager to get up. I suppose you could do a 3 plus 2 plus and run back here.
No, I should have taken them both down, Billy. Who's got armor 8? Yeah, that's weird. I've noticed it too, uh, Black Seed. So... Stand up the Croxigore. Stand up the Blodge Guard Diving Tackle guy. And let's do another surf thing. Mm, suppose everything goes to shit. I want the ball carrier to be safe, and he is now. And. You can go here and screen a little. Yay! Go, 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 go! Gotta push, yes! And of course, dodge the fuck back out with break tackle. Actually, without break tackle, but whatever. Leaving this open would be a bit much, so I'm gonna go here. Are you spamming my stream, Jimmy? So I've still got this guy, he can dodge out of tackle. Well, let's just do that and get around here. Let's see if we can lure Moranian out maybe. Nope. Mm, worth a reroll. It's my first one. I've still got three turns after this. I don't have quite a player advantage, though a little one. Yeah, sure. Because I have only 11 players and a uh, skink who goes down is probably <clears throat> quite a cost already. You know, with uh, with Stunty they usually don't uh, don't survive a lot of drops. Uh, I assume it will use break tackle if it would succeed, rather than use the dodge kill. That's how I would do it, and that's. I'm pretty sure that's what happens, yes. So this catcher is still in a very nice place, of course. You'd think that they could roll with it, right? I think that would be an interesting ability. Well, not really, actually. I think it would make sense from a fluff perspective that someone in plate mail who drops to his feet uh, is more likely to get hurt than uh, some agile little skink that just rolls around the floor. No, you want to do that with Moranian. Still trying to get safe from the surf, still failing. So if you roll a 1, you use dodge skill, if you roll a 2, you use break tackle, and you keep the dodge skill, yes.
So this surf is a little uh, less straightforward. Oh, nice. Because I want a guy here to cancel this assist. Uh, which means that guy is at risk of getting counter surfed. Especially now. Hmm. Obviously I'm not rerolling this, but let me think. So I could get a guy in here. He still got Dauntless, so they would both have to have guard basically. Oh uh, wait, I'm messing this up. This guy can go here. This is the surf guy. Oh, I can just put a sidestepper here really. For the surf. That makes sense. Although I do want someone in here afterwards. Three, four, five, six. Good enough. Yes, let's try this. I don't have to do. It does mean that this spot for the ball is kind of unpleasant. Um, let me see if I can fix that. I really don't want to be fouling here. So I've only got one guard, which is a bit annoying. If I've had two guard to put up here, I could cancel this. I do have another Agility 4, that's not good enough either. I think I'm just going to stick with uh, where I am for the moment. Yeah, this will do for now. A full 11 strength for skinks. Well, if none of them have... Uh, well, so both skinks have sidestep uh, Sotaraz, so it doesn't sound too likely. No, you don't, unfortunately, Biggles. Uh, although, uh, th this was the case in some earlier rule sets, over on Fumble at least, and it actually would um, cause some pretty bad uh, side effects. Hello. Can I surf this? Not really. Well, so if if they didn't have sidestep, I wouldn't be using them in this manner, essentially. Wasn't it you who was laughing at me for missing stand firm earlier? So you would have uh, dwarf players with minus agility, and they would actually get be. Okay, go for it, foul, please do. Exactly, Matto. Thank you. No diving tackle here. I do have it there. But it doesn't work. Yep, that is the short of it. So I'm not quite achieving the uh, the pitch dominance that I would like. I've only got a couple of turns left. Mm, let's 
that's interesting. So because he dodged here, he's actually easier to surf now. So I can't really resist that, can I? Ah, uh, but it fails. Oh, it doesn't really fail though. See two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, seven, eight. I've got sprint sure feet, so I could just decide to go for a little. Go here, basically. I think I'm okay with standing the crocs up at this point. And getting a little friend here. This should also help. Let's do all the safe stuff first, and obviously, so the reason I'm doing this now is that if I move this guy in first, he's going to be in the way, which is not a good thing. So he has tackle on here, I'm going to have to make two dodges against tackle, regardless of what else I do. I think I like it here. Yay, I make them very good. Let's see how far he can come this way. So this is part of the reason why you sometimes miss that he's got a tackle zone on, on you, right? Look at where this player is standing and look at where his square is. Now, if you're considering moving, moving to the side here or here, it doesn't really look like that's a tackle zone. Uh, I think that's part of the problem we're seeing here. And he dodged diving tackle twice now. Uh, again without dodge kill by the way. Maranian for a 3 plus with no dodge kill. So this should leave me with enough room to get somewhere like here with the sideline cage, which in turn should leave me with a touchdown turn 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I could go here with the ball. That seems uh, pretty safe. Like uber dwarfs then. I kind of like it. I would play against that. Well, you want to give them one ball carrier, it would get uh, movement two. So Moranian still surfable. Actually, I could just make my sideline cage here now. Two, four, six, eight, one go. Yes, that is correct, uh, Eidolon. Well, the mic is not new, uh, but the fact that the mic is now on a uh, boom arm is new, and the fact that it's got this uh, pop filter in front of it is new. The headset is new. So yeah, I've got a lot of new equipment. If you'd like to see my setup actually looks like this now uh, from back over there. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with all of that really. Um, basically that's, uh, that's what I did with uh, all of the donation money that uh, you guys were kind enough to provide me with so far. 
So thanks a lot for, for doing so, for supporting the stream, making it possible for me to do this. I really do appreciate that a lot. Hmm, diving tackle did a thing. Nice. Let's see. I think going back this way is probably the sensible solution right now. Hmm. Someone who really couldn't go very far. I want him up here. Let's put this skink here. Two guys on Moranian. Good, he doesn't have dodge, does he? You don't, you little shit. Oh, and that's done. Well, I'm very glad you like it, man. It's uh, it's always nice to hear that people enjoy it. Mm. This guy deserves a beating, I suppose. And this guy deserves some star player points, so let's combine the two. Don't need to follow that really. I can go here. And I can go up until there with the ball. That is a long way though. Uh, well, let's see how far the skinks can go. Here. Okay. This skink can go not quite that far. Let's put him there. Um, so sometimes you can half die block them, uh, but sometimes that even that is not an option because um, they will have stand firm, for instance, so you can't block them off. And then you need to do other things. You need to use other players or figure another way around the problem. Nice. Diving tackle plus prehensile tail. Dodge this. So this guy does not have dodge, so I'll use my tackler elsewhere. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Sotaraz. Um I felt that with the uh <clears throat> excellent very happy to hear it i uh i can see why you might not like an overlay uh but i find that i interact with the chat a lot um so I, most of my time i spend re responding to things people say in chat and uh if you're doing that then you really want to be able to see the chat on the screen and uh, so, especially for, for uploading to, uh, to YouTube, of course, later, if I'm talking to you guys and I'm uploading my videos on YouTube and you can't see what, I, uh, what, what, what I'm responding to, then it's not going to make any sense. So um, I wanted to get the chat up on the stream, uh, but it looks kind of bad, you know, with the chat uh, visible over here overlaying the screen with my, uh, um, my face overlaying the screen on the other end. So then um, Bustahimo said, hey, how would you like an overlay? I've, I've already set this up for you. And I was the one who, ins so he suggested that I would uh, basically uh, smudge the screen together. So just lower the resolution like this, uh, which I thought would be, would suck. Um, and then There we go. Uh, yes, it is possible, El Mato. Let's see. I can get three dice on this. Uh, I'm going to be a greedy bastard. I'm um, first going to four, five, six, seven. This is already three dice. Oh, uh, don't make that mistake again. That wouldn't be the first time. 
Hmm, interesting. Just missed the player there. Well, I suppose getting a free surf isn't bad either. Yay, look at that. Oh, such a pity. Well. So like I said, I am a greedy son of a bitch. Will I... So I suppose I can just block with this guy, because he's got block as well. Four, five, six, no. That is good. Yep, yeah, there's been uh, quite a quite a few uh, ho follows on the host. Yes. Um, so this would be also be a good time to remind you guys if you uh, if you enjoy the stream, please do uh, follow it here on Twitch, and of course consider uh, following the YouTube channel as well. So let's see, I've got a block here, but I really want to prevent him from sidestepping next to me. So before I make that block, I'm going to connect here and there. So that's four, five, six. Let's make that a three die. Here we go. Three dies and he can sidestep. Very nice. Yay, look, a results. It did something. Greed is good. Excellent. Got a catcher out now. Uh, it's a lineman, oh, but a dodge sidestepper at least. And you know what, now that I don't have anything else to do... Well, I would have needed six skulls, right? Because I still had a reroll, but yeah, that went well. So my opponent does have catchers, which means he can one turn. I have only two diving tackle and one prehensile tail, which is not enough to do the one turn prevention in the uh, <laughs> in the end zone. So let's see. Yeah, fuck it. I don't believe in his one turning ability. So I'm going to ignore it. Let's not put a skink here. Let's not put him there either. I guess this guy is uh, sensible for the line. This guy not so much. I guess someone with three normals would... Uh... Yes, all the cheerleaders are uh, humans, unfortunately. And they are soulless and depressing. Um, thank you for uh, summarizing my, uh, my opinion on them. I couldn't agree with you more, Biggles. So, uh, I suppose spreading them out is actually better. Yeah, there's definitely a lot that could be added uh, with not too much effort. I think those things would make very fun uh, tournament giveaways too. So what you do is you'd organize a tournament and um, you'd have to pay something to participate, but everyone would get something like that uh, in addition. Well, so uh, lizardman cheerleaders obviously shouldn't have boobs because lizards are not mammals. Um, so that, that's going to look different, to say the least. So obviously he's not one turning, so I did the right thing in setting up back here. Large tails, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. No riot this time, that's good. Sure you can have that ball. Feathers, yes, you're absolutely right, Sotaraz. 
I actually, so I have two kids, and I actually teach them to call birds dinosaurs as well. Dauntless fail, doesn't matter. And he lives, excellent. So, uh, since I've got a couple of new viewers around, I should probably tell you guys a little bit about myself. Um, so, in my day-to-day -day life, I uh, teach uh, cognitive neuroscience at the university. Uh, I got my PhD last year, uh, in December, and have been a uh, full-time uh, teacher ever since. So the reason I would spread them out for is against a one-turn touchdown. It is a hell of a lot easier to make a one-turn touchdown if all three players are closer together. I can actually link you a replay on Fumble that shows this in action. Uh, I put it up on YouTube but it was really ugly because I didn't know how to stream Fumble properly just by using uh, the window capture. Thanks for the follow, uh, Beef Glob. Um, but I can look up the replay for you at least. Here, I think this is the one, yes. So if you, if you know how to look at fumble replays, have a look at the replay on this page and it will show you just why. Oh no, not Mr. Something, someone. Didn't actually check who it was. And a KO and a send off. That's not terrible. I suppose if I'm really playing for the win, I should apple this. Nah, I'm confident enough in the game as it is. So the replay that I just linked shows you. Uh, yeah, so the sounds on followers are all uh, standard ones. I should really update them at some point. I added one custom sound for the donation so that I would recognize them and be able to thank people. Um, it's, uh, it's a Team Fortress sound. Well, that's actually, uh, uh, Squirrel, that would be the reason to use the KO, because, uh, to use the Apo. Using the Apo in the second half won't actually uh, let you... Hi there, welcome, Blinder. Um, the Wood Elves are doing fine. Uh, they've got... I've, I've remade them, and since that they've got uh, a couple of wins under their belt by now. No ties yet. Hmm. Yeah, I should have had about that, really. Brief disconnect here. This will be over in a couple of seconds. Sorry about that. So, for Linder, I'm uh, guessing you're uh, you're joining from YouTube. So if you, <laughs> thank you Eidolon, yes, uh, I wouldn't get one uh, to be honest, especially in a uh, claw heavy uh, environment like, like high value cyanide is. Oh, okay, cool. Well, uh, thanks for checking in then. Marion's got movement seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so I'm not going any closer than this. And I guess this guy is more expendable. Uh, and this guy is less fragile, so this looks good. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I think they'll be standing in line to get a couple of wood elves that trained under me.
<laughs> well, good for you, Hunter. Baby steps. Ah, yes. Well, I've been there. I've been there. <laughs> well, I'm guessing it wasn't fumble, right? So the thing is, it, the uh, the use of the Apothecary Squirrel dude really depends on your goal for him. If you want him to win you the game, then a turn 8 Badly Hurt is the best use of him, and the second best is a turn 8 uh, Knockout, basically. Because, yes, that's what she said, Hunter. Um, so the, the thing is, you want the... Uh, um, the Apo to get you a player for the second half. You don't want it to save your player in the long run. If you're playing to win. If you're playing to build a fun team or uh, using the Apo to conserve your players, obviously using it on a uh, turn 8 KO is not a good idea. I, I guess that was a, a typo on Jimmy's part. <coughs> I'm sure he meant to say turn 8. Dauntless fail, that's nice. <laughs> he rerolls the Dauntless. No, no, no. no, I don't think I would have. But he's got four rerolls, so he might as well. Oh, you're right, Jimmy, of course. Uh, because with the KO, they actually stay on the pitch. Fair enough. Yes, turn nine, or actually. Any second half KO is uh, fine to Apo. Yeah, in Badly Hurt is better on turn 8 and uh, KO is uh, fine in second half. Yes, because on turn 8 you feel like it might be a waste because you could come back and on turn 9 you know that it's well used. Yeah, I can see that. So, interesting stuff this. This is a good block. Him I can block off with... Well, not this guy apparently. So let's see about this one first. Come on. Frenzy. Frenzy is better than tackle if you don't plan to reroll. Can I mark with the crocs? I cannot. Fair enough. Do I have more diving tackle? I do. Then getting this guy off of me is probably a pretty damn good idea. None of them can mark the ball. He's handled that well enough. Yay, got him. Good. Because now I can blitz Moran in here. One go for it. Should be good enough. Come on, kill that guy. He's got armor 8 though. He's a real elf. A uh, real high elf, I mean. Let's see. Suppose I want to go here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In this square, I will be able to mark him. He can't move forth further back. This guy, if he blocks this guy, will be marking those two. I will want my agility 5 to sort of screen off here, I guess to hopefully catch a pass. This is a thrower. It is a thrower, so 
<clears throat> that is kind of desperate because safe throw is a thing. Uh, let's reroll that, yes. Uh, my blow does not work on a surf, actually. Same logic here, really, with the uh, intercept, but now on agility 4, so a bit less likely. Hmm. I suppose I could set up a token screen here, just to make it a little bit harder to get past. But really, who am I kidding? It's a catcher. He's gonna make that if he wants to. Still, it does mean that he will score just about instantly with one of these guys. And he still has a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Well, he has accurate, so actually I haven't made it hard on him at all. <clears throat> but at least it means he'll uh, he'll probably skill right now. Well, it, just, it, it wouldn't make them OP per se. It would just make them skill faster, right? Uh, although, yes, that is part of the problem with Chaos Warriors, for instance. So yes, intercept with the agility 5 skink. The intercept failed. And he skills. Well done. So yeah, this was kind of what I predicted, right? He's gonna he's gonna have to score quickly. He did need a 3 plus roll and me not to intercept on a 4 plus with agility 5. Ah, the knockout stays out. Too bad you can't use an Apo now. Uh, it stands for grats or congratulations. Yep, that's the one. Uh, no, it doesn't, Master House. That would be incredibly good. Yeah, he was still looking at a 3 plus safe throw. That is correct, Jimmy. Uh, I would build strength 5 sources, block, dodge, uh, break tackle, guard and tackle. Hippo. Really? This is what you're gonna do? <laughs> so I'm miss I'm rather missing the guard guy here. I can just assist here though. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Hmm. So I think break tackle with strength 5 is great. And tackle on top of that makes him a real cage buster. And having strength 5 blodge guard means uh, your line of scrimmage will often be unblockable for a lot of teams. Which will actually... Uh, uh, Yep, yeah, so this looks good. Actually, since my opponent doesn't have Frenzy, I might as well go like this. Yes, I go dodge on doubles on all my SARS. I did actually make a team that was deliberately uh, not take dodge uh, on doubles. It wouldn't take any doubles because, you know, SARS don't really need doubles to be good, they can get six normal skills and be great players. Come on, let's get it both down. Yes, very good. And a nice little punch here. Yes, excellent. 
Uh, will I follow this? Ah, sure. Follow that. Let's get you onto the ball here. Still got plenty of time. No need to rush. And it is time for the surf again. This looks familiar. This looks awfully familiar. Let's see if he wants to use dodge. Given how he's set up here, he might. He does! Look at that! And back to safety. Well, you know, if my opponent doesn't mind. this At this point, I really want to pick up the Balda. And go here, I guess. Good, 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 good. Now, if this fails, this, this corner is actually more in danger because this has tackle and diving tackle. So I'm going to go here first. If the block succeeds, I can then move this guy to the other corner. Yes, very good. I wouldn't get sure hands or uh, plus agility on a Saurus, to be honest. I, I do like scoring with my Saurus, but mostly via skink handoff. Your skinks can be quite safe with a ball if you've got enough guard on your Saurus. Yeah, but strength 5 dodge, break tackle, tackle is really really good for cage busting. It's like having an Agility 5 Gutter Runner, except you've got Strength 5, so you don't need Strip Ball because you can just tackle them down and stay standing also yourself. It's really good. So, Saurus Ball Carriers can work. Uh, I have a team that had one. Uh, yeah, I, I don't really like them. My favorite Saurus would have to be, uh, let's see, past players plus strength. Here we are. This is my favorite Saurus. I'm really not in any hurry here. My opponent scored early enough that I have the time to take this easy. Although it would have been nice to have up out this, of course. Sorry. So fortunately I did program in uh, VST host. So M means that they've been missing a game once. D means that he's very much dead right now. This Soros did once uh, score a hat trick. So three touchdowns in one game. That was cool. Yeah, so I don't think my opponent even realizes I have diving tackle. But he's not letting that stop him, obviously. Uh, let's go here. Blitz this guy. Let's blitz the guy who has dodge. Good value on your tackle there. Uh, except if you roll this. I am going to follow this up. So that they both have... So that he has tackle on them and diving tackle to improve the chances of uh, messing with him. Hey there, Nick of Fate. Good to see you again. Oh, 
Oh, right, that's the sound effect that I still wanted to put in my uh, soundboard. It's worse than that. He's dead, Jim. Yes, thank you. Good idea. So this is my other diving tackle. I really want to pair him with a guard, but I don't have that, so I'm going to settle for pairing him with the frenzy here. Also to solidify this situation over here. And so then we get two more skinks to really tidy up the place. And that's that. <laughs> Yeah, I'd rather just fix the reconnects, but it is actually a good suggestion, uh, Black Seed. Oh, down he goes. Where's my frenzy? Just a flesh wound. Fatality. Uh, I have it somewhere. Just a flesh wound. Just a flesh wound. Huh. I'm pretty sure I had it somewhere. It is but a scratch. So I, I re uh, planned my soundboard with a different application. No, Biggles! Badly hurt. Yeah, at this point. Yes, apparently. It's but a scratch. That's the one. Yep, it's there. Don't worry. Uh, I actually have it mapped to my keyboard keys, uh, Sean Man. Uh, uh, this is the only high off team that I've got. Yeah, so that would tie me down quite well enough. For this turn, at least. Diving tackle! Yay! Diving tackle did a thing. Excellent. So I can block these two guys. Do they both have block? They both have block. Excellent. Let's get this guy first. Mighty blow against the thrower. Ah, uh, such a pity. I suppose you can just put him here and then 3-die him with the... Uh, with the Croxy Core in a minute. So I want to blitz uh, this person here, this lineman, and I want to do it with this guy. Yay, down he goes in one attempt. Question is how far to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this could be my back wall. Hmm. I think here works. <laughs> wow, that's nice, uh, Justin. Very good. Gotta love that. Ah, the Wood Elves. So I've got two Wood Elf teams. One of them I retired and remade. Um, so it actually matters whether you mean two or three days ago, because the one I retired and the other I still have on ice for uh, more games soon. So the first Wood Elves I played, I played against Lizards, uh, then against something and then I tied against humans so I decided to remake them 
and the second set uh, played against an all skink team that was interesting and against some orcs and against something. ah the first one started off against chaos I think yep no unfortunately there is no way to get either a bonus or a reroll on the landing roll I think there should be a skill big feet and that it should be an agility skill and halflings would start with it and it should give you some benefits to uh, ah cool great well done slicky yeah it was a it was a very good game um, if you if you look at it back on uh, YouTube you'll see me commenting saying um, that it was very nice to play against someone who really knew what they're doing oh you did well you did very good And welcome to the stream. <laughs> so he's put his tackle onto my skink here. Yeah, I'm really missing two Sarai, of course. Two Sauras, if, uh, if you want to listen to Jimmy. Which is a bit of a pity. No, this isn't a surf. Three, four, five, six, seven. I could surf this, but. I think that would risk my players too much. Cool. Nice. I think this should just be my blood section, to be honest. To uh, double back around this way. Yep, so that's good. Good stun there. So I could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I could get this far, which means I want him to be here. You're just going to stand up now. Yes. I will be making this block because it's actually less risky than a. Uh, a dodge that will only fail in the snake eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need to get this far. Good. Glad I got this in. So far, so good. I still need to get one of these guys out. Did my Agility 4 skin get removed? Where's the Agility 4 guy? Nine. Here you go. You can get here easily. Doesn't have sure feet though. Let's see how this goes first. I haven't used my dodge skill. So I can go here instead. Nice. Yay, they live. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm not really too worried about that right now. I'm more concerned about this, to be honest. Yay, gotcha. Got right eye. Hmm. This went okay. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, wow. Oh, 
He does get the wrestle. Well, I don't have block, so wrestle is not that bad. I do think he'll take the wrestle and not hit my skink. Because he is better off trying to get the ball than suffering a turnover at this point. Oh, he doesn't ha just have wrestle. He also has block. That's a good, good point. Uh, this KO is worth appoing. Yes. This KO is very much worth appoing. Bounce is not great, but acceptable. He's already used his reroll. So that's the thing. He has block and wrestle. Yeah, that's good. I've played very few games with uh, star players in them. Most of my process when I'm considering uh, uh, a game will go... I take a wizard. How much money do I have left? Yeah, I I like I like the uh, <clears throat> the civil well of playing. Although, to be honest, the, the username the sage really dates back to something completely unrelated here. So uh, I played a uh, Utopia clone um, called Star Kingdoms and uh, it had one of the, the, the playstyles you could use was a um, human which meant you get got a bonus to science production and so I uh, I focused on that and I figured, well, then the Sage's Hills would be a good... Hey, Diving Tackle does a thing. Nice. So, I don't have my Agility 4 right now, or my Agility 5 right now. I do have an Agility 4 somewhere. Who can get the ball? But before I do that, let's get my Diving Tackle back onto the ball. That seems like a good idea. There's no guard. There is a Break Tackle. Hmm... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could surf this guy. That's not bad. Let's get Moranian friend here first then go for the pickup. Hmm, he's in the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could consider a go for it at this point. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna be there. So I want to be... Oh, and the connection's gone. Multi-block Dauntless is an interesting combination. It's not good per se, but it is interesting. Come on, do it! Yay! I'm actually tempted to not act with the Crocs, because Prehensile Tail and a Tackle Zone already kind of help. So just do the Surf thing. Yeah, and break tackle is good. Push. Go for it once. Fail. Reroll, yes. Dauntless does work with multi block. So it's interesting. But it's still not great, per se. Because you do need to actually succeed on both the Dauntless rolls. Uh, I'm going to be a bit risky and make another go, just not to get surfed. Which would then, in return, also free up this guy to move around with. Helping me to screen off this end some more. Uh, I suppose I could actually dodge this. It's only a... a 5 plus with reroll. So that's about 50-50, and I think I would be a lot more useful there. 
but it fails, well fine. I wasn't actually counting on it succeeding per se. Fair enough. Um, Frenzy doesn't work with multi-block. Actually, multi-block is a way to uh, protect yourself from having to Frenzy. You know, because uh, Grab doesn't work with Frenzy, but you're not allowed to take it on the same player. Multi-block doesn't work with Frenzy. Uh, no, you can actually choose on each block action whether you want to use multi-block or not. And using multi-block is the only way you get to decide not to use Frenzy. So that is uh, something of an asset. So this is 3 plus, 3 plus, no, 3 plus, 4 plus, 2 plus here on the ball. And this is turn 15. Going for it once, and down he goes. And he's there. And I guess this guy, maybe... Hmm, one die push with Moranian. Really? There? That's interesting, because I still have a reroll, so this doesn't really help too much. Oh, this is also not Moranian doing this, because he already blocked. Fair enough. Um, I'm gonna go with here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can score this turn with no... with only one dodge. With the Jelly 4. It's not bad. Might even be able to do so with a Chain Push. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I can do so with the Chain Push too. And actually, that's not a terrible idea because he still only got one turn and last time he didn't one turn I don't think he will now so simply scoring this turn will be, might just be safer than trying to stall it out I think I'll go for that so the uh, chain pushing plan is out But of course I can can still just surf this guy and then dodge. <clears throat> so let's see. Get on to him. Push here would be nice. That's cool, uh, Sean Man. Uh, I'm going to finish playing this game and then go to bed. Suppose I fail my dodge, I will unfortunately want to get this guy standing, even though it's next to Moranian. Suppose I fail this dodge, I will want this guy to be here. And that's that really. Yay, I make it. So I guess there's probably a couple of US viewers out here by now. Yay, he's back. He can go on the line of scrimmage. So in this case, a one turn would really hurt. He needs... Um, 
One, two, three bushes. So I'm going to set up back here. And I'm going to spread these guys apart a little. Make it a bit harder. Let's not put the Agility 5 guy here. Uh, where is the Agility 5 guy, actually? Yeah, I'll just go behind here, though. Here he is. So I'm not quite risk willing to risk him, especially after I appled him just now. But I guess this is a pretty tough uh, one turn to make still. So now we'll get a riot. So I, I could very much see the argument against a an Agility 5 uh, skink, because on Agility 4 you already dodge into uh, any number of tackle zones on a 2+. But I do find that um, Diving Tackle is a thing, uh, Prehensile Tail is a thing, and uh, most importantly picking up the ball in multiple tackle zones. The asymmetry is because you cannot spread these four players out well um, <clears throat> with uh, you can't have one center guy uh, in four players and I want him to be safe I want S. Andriev to be stay in one piece so he's not playing for the one turn he's not even playing for the extra blocks from uh, So, this went well. Thanks for watching again, folks. Yeah, so that is definitely frustrating, uh, excited. I know what that's like. I've had, uh, so my three best performing teams, I think, were my Dark Elves, my High Elves, and my Lizards. All three of them have a uh, loss by uh, crash now. Skill ups this game. Let me see. Nope. Nope. Uh, nope. Nope. Not even close. Um, he might skill on an MVP. He might skill on an MVP. So there's two Saurus who are uh, an MVP away from skilling. And there's two Skinks who are an MVP away from skilling as well. So uh, potentially. Uh, killer? Really? I, I'm not going, going to. Uh, it's, uh, it's way past my bedtime already. Nice Buster Hemo, well done. Let me kill this star player here. Uh, if I follow up, will that be a one die? Not if I put someone here. Oh wow, that's an interesting question. Yeah, 
and no good. Okay. So the thing is, my kids wake up at 7, um, I have two of them, David and Sophie, they're fantastic, um, and uh, I do get to sleep in a little late uh, tomorrow, uh, my wife and I split the weekend days basically, so one of us gets to sleep in on Saturday and the other on Sunday, uh, but even so, sleeping in then means either 9 or 10 a.m., so... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. Uh, yes, no, this is not a skill up. Nope, no skill ups. Um, so, uh, thanks a lot for watching, all of you. Uh, do remember to follow the stream and or the YouTube channel if you'd like to keep updated. Um, I do also run a Twitter account to, to inform people that I'm streaming.